Good day, good Monday to everyone who's watching today. I am here at the Urban League of Northwest Indiana with our president and CEO, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod. And you have so much going on till I just had to stop in <laughs> and figure out how we're going to talk about everything that the Urban League has going on. But I know you are well prepared. You have your stack of things. I have my stack of things. And thank you so much, Chelsea, for stopping in. It was pouring down, raining outside, but the sunshine is in here That's right. at the Urban League. Yes. And we're sending a shout out to all of the breast cancer survivors also. We just want to say that I'm wearing pink. I see that. You're I got, almost. I'm kind of almost. Kind of almost. I'm going to get my pink in That's this month. That's all right. Though. But yeah. it's this month, and we just want to say shout out to you, and uh, we're glad that you have survived and gone through this. Yes. Um, let's keep encouraging each other. Yes, and my profile picture is breast cancer awareness oh, on social media. So okay. I am definitely in the spirit of things right. to raise awareness, to yes. raise dollars, and just to make sure that people know yes. that this is something that uh, is top of mind exactly. and it's important to us. Exactly, exactly. Well, the first thing I want to talk about, which I forgot to talk about earlier, is the Gary International Black Film Festival. Yes, coming up. Oh, it is coming up this weekend. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I think opening night is Friday. Friday October night 8th at the Art House. At the Art House. Uh -huh. Right in Gary. Yes, 411. You know 411 East Fifth <laughs> Avenue. Of course I do. It's my beautiful city. And I just want to send a shout out to Karen Torin. Karen was came to me 10, 11 years ago and just talked about what her vision was for having a Black International Film Festival. Mm -hmm. Karen is a graduate, I believe, of Emerson. I think so. Of Emerson, and this was something she came all the way back from Seattle. She's on a plane right now. Is on her she? Way. Right, yes. exactly. So I want everyone, if you don't have anything on your calendar, mm -hmm. please mark October 8th as the day that you come to the art house and partake in the Gary International. Black Film Festival, opening night reception, 6 p.m., mm -hmm. the film starts at 7. Yes, and we have um, Dion Taylor as our featured artist for the entire weekend. And so all you have to do is go to GaryFilmFest.org yes. yes. and get all the details, passes, and, and just information about all the different films, exactly. the workshops. It's going to be a lot going on. And Fun. I'll be right there live on the red carpet. Wonderful. I can't wait. I, I can't, can't wait. wait. I can't wait either. So the next thing that's coming up is a large event that we've held. This is our annual fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It's the Diversity and Inclusion Awards Luncheon that's going to be held on Wednesday, October 13th mm -hmm. at the Avalon yes. in Maryville. Okay. This is where we present awards to organizations and businesses that are proactive in increasing diversity in the workplace, community and, and we have leadership. a lot of those we really do yeah. we really do in fact this year um, one of our organizations is the legacy foundation they are going to get an award and who doesn't year. love the legacy I foundation know. they, they fund so, so many amazing causes and every time i turn around it's like and thanks to the yes, legacy and foundation thanks to the legacy and and really during COVID period mm -hmm. they they provided us with a grant so that we can assist with giving out $50 food cards for mm -hmm. Strack and Van Tills for people to go to. So Legacy has just been around. They had not submitted an application, but this year, Carolyn Saxton. Bravo. Erica Pfizer. Bravo. So we're going to salute them and some others on October 13th, starting at 1130. But, but. there's going to be some vendors there. Okay. So if you like to shop, come early. Come like at 1030, 11 o'clock. And there's going to be a whole lot of vendors in I the think front. 930. I'll just be waiting <laughs> in the parking lot for them to set up. I'm a shopper. I, you know that. <laughs> so come on out. And our keynote speaker is none other than, do you know who our speaker I is? I do. I'm so excited to hear him speak. And I think everybody else will be because yes. we have a vested interest in who represents us. And it's That's none right. other than Congressman Frank Mervan. Yes. I'm so glad that he has cleared his schedule. He's going to be here. So we'll be hearing from him our new congressman, because remember he was elected, what, last year? Mm -hmm. COVID kind of shut us down. Mm -hmm. In fact, the former congressman was supposed to speak last Peter year. Peter Pisklowski, exactly. yes. Exactly, so we have some great leaders, and I'm looking forward to hearing from Congressman Frank 
Mervan at our luncheon. And the cool thing about that is that too will be broadcast live for those yes. who want to make a donation but can't come in person. Absolutely. We want to give them access to this great information. Absolutely. So the other thing, you see, so that's one, two. The third thing is October 20th is our scholarship fair, our annual scholarship fair. In collaboration with Infinite Scholars, Urban League is hosting a scholarship fair October 20th, which is the following Wednesday yes, we're at the Chateau. We're really busy. We're going to have over a 1,000 students that are going to converge on the Chateau to get some money. Oh, wouldn't you come? Oh, I'm totally going to be there. <laughs> Even though I'm not getting money, I just love to see the look on the parents and the students' yes. faces when their names are called. We ring the bell exactly. and say they're headed to Jackson State or they're going yes. to Indiana University or in Bloomington or HU. <laughs> I was going to, you know, I, I was going to try to refrain. I, <laughs> I can't resist. Or Howard. But it's always a great day. Yeah. And I love every fall, Vanessa. You know how social media brings up your memories. Yes. And it just keeps coming up in my memories because exactly. I come every year. I love so it. In case you don't know, any high school graduating senior in Lake Porter, LaPorte County, you need to be at the Chateau between 9 and 12 on October 20th because mm -hmm. we will have over 50, 60 colleges and universities and many of them are offering you full ride scholarships. Full ride. Full I remember ride. when I got news on my full ride like 30 years ago. I can still see my mama shouting in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy because I was her last baby. Yes. And she was like, that's one bill I don't, don't have to have worry, to worry about. Mm -hmm. So come out. And parents, check with your students. There should be a bus that's coming from the school to the chateau. But maybe they missed, they didn't hear it, whatever. You can take your child out of school on what they call an educational field experience, mm -hmm. and it's an excused absence. absence. That's right. Right. So, so bring them there because it's money over here, money over there. You got to get all that money. How do you sing it? Money, money, money. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And we have extra money for returning adult students. Okay. So if you stopped out of school, say you got your associates, and you out for two years or three years and you want to go back, mm -hmm. we have a $1,000 scholarship for you. Wonderful. Anywhere. That is such a motivation to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and go back. Yeah. And I have the support of my Urban That's League right. of Northwest Indiana. Get what nice. you need. Go back to school. And for those students that are um, students with disabilities, First Midwest Bank is offering a $1,000 scholarship specifically mm -hmm. for those students. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of scholarships. And then we all know that every student isn't going to college. That's right. Some want to take up a trade, which is wonderful because oh, we, need, we that. need electricians. We yes. need welders. We need carpenters. Yes. We need plumbers. Yes. So come out because we will have someone there talking about the trade. Okay. So it's going to be it's an all, for everybody. everyone, everyone. Okay. Come on out. So go over all the dates again just so everybody knows. October 8th through the 10th. Through the 10th. Okay. Gary International Black Film Fest happening starting at the Art yeah. House and then Saturday night will be at Indiana University Northwest. Right. So right. all they have to do is go to GaryFilmFest.org, check out the whole schedule That's of events right. and be in those different places yes. and log in online to get your passes. And the Urban League of Northwest Indiana exactly. is a proud sponsor. We are a proud sponsor and we just partner and thank goodness for Ludine. Yes. Let me just say Ludine and Tony. And who Karen else is out there? And Karen James, and it's a James. Whole slew it's a of whole them. bunch of them. But if you need some more information about it, call 887 9621. Yes. So that's the film festival. Okay. Then Wednesday the 13th mm -hmm. is the Diversity and Inclusion Awards Luncheon at the Avalon. Yes. Put on your rolling skates. And then the following Wednesday is the Scholarship Fair. Yes. And last but not least, we also have an event coming up November 6th. And we can talk about that later, but I just want to put it out there. If you are interested in organizing a block club, mm -hmm. the Urban League has grants for you up to $1,000 ah. that you can pick up some material that you need to beautify your block, like a shovel or a rake or a leaf blower. blower. Yes, you know, all those whatever. things that beautify our city. Exactly. So November 6th. We will be at the Diamond Center at 11.30. Okay. Come on out. We have a lot going on at the Urban League. And that's why you have to follow the Urban League on Facebook to get those regular updates. Yes. And know that for all of these events, 
I'll be on hand to help push the information Always. out, to keep it live, keep Always. it fresh, and make sure everybody knows the amazing things that you, Dr. Vanessa Allen McLeod, and your wonderful staff Thank you. are doing on behalf of the Port. Lake and Porter counties, and anyone can make a donation to the Urban League. Absolutely. If and you, how do they do that, Doc? Just call eight eight seven ninety six twenty one, or you can cash app U L N W I, or just go to our page, our website U L of N W I dot yes. org. Yes, there it is. All right, Doctor Allen, I'll you, see Chelsea. you in these streets at all these events, and make sure you share this video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.